doing this Crack From It uh, third annual conference. So I am here today with six of our Subgrantees entrepreneurs, and I'm very happy they, they agreed to join us today to present their project. So I'm just quickly going to present them, the six of them. So together uh, with us today, we have Abu Baida al from Egypt. He's the co-founder of Duma Toys. We also have Ala Shashkshir, co-founder of Askadar from Culture and Heart in Palestine. We have Ban Zainab from Puppets World uh, for Children Development in Jordan. We have yeah, Shara 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 Shara. One from my team has a microphone. Okay, so Sherazad, uh, director and founder of Kling from Tunisia. We have Bilal from uh, CEO of Terrific in Lebanon and Wafa Ezawi from Morocco, CEO and founder of Career Artisan. So I'm not going to take uh, time out of the entrepreneurs. Uh, we're here to listen to you, to listen to your progress. So please, I will give the floor to start with uh, Abo from Egypt, Dumatos. You can uh, share your screen and tell us about your project. Yes. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm really glad to, to have this opportunity. Um, I will uh, uh, start uh, just by sharing the screen um, to show uh, just a second. Okay, I hope everyone can see my screen now. Yes, we can see your screen. Okay, so I'll, I'll go through a quick introduction about Duma Toys and then how Create for Med, um, uh, uh, the project we uh, implemented under the Create for Med and the achievements that we had under this project. So Duma Toys, first our uh, uh, mission. So we're on a mission to provide toys to every child's home around the world. Uh, and also uh, 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 on a mission to help women gain fair income around the world as well. Uh, so the problem that we're trying to solve on a local level is children are, lo are losing interest in uh, traditional uh, playtime, the joy in traditional playtime, because of the increased exposure to uh, technology. Uh, on the other side, women labor force in Egypt, uh, the participation is below 24%, uh, uh, which is among the lowest around the world. So our solution is we've created a unique handmade toy that offers a personalized shopping journey while empowering women to bring joy to children's lives. Uh, the market size on a global level um, is estimated for the hand for handmade is estimated in 2017 to be around $500 billion and in 2023 uh, uh, reached almost a trillion dollars. Uh, on the local level, um, uh, Egypt's toy consumption um, uh, in 2015 uh, was around $522 million. So on uh, the potential side in the Egyptian market, our target customers, consumers, are 3% of children ages 0 to 9, and this leads to almost 730,000 child in Egypt. The team is myself, um, I'm the co-founder, and uh, Sarah, uh, who's the co-founder as well, and she's the art director. Um, we have 20, 12 full-time staff, and we also have 200 women, over 200 women working in production in four governorates around Egypt. And the value that we offer is a unique playtime experience for children away from technology, giving way for their imagination to flourish. So our designs are unique in-house designs. The quality that we, we that we produce our products with with our high quality based on international standards. We also uh, 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 like uh, our products are uh, uh, team based, and we also provide cust customization options for our clients. Uh, the products that we offer are uh, newborn collections. Uh, like the snoozy and the cuddly collections, and then going up uh, in, in, in the age for children above one and two. So we have the child animal animal collection, we have the doll collection as well. And we also work B2B, uh, uh, producing customized products in bulk for uh, uh, other clients, uh, like the Grand Egyptian Museum, 
Make 51, which is um, an, a brand that UNACR developed to support lo uh, local refugees uh, in the region. And also one of the clients we had, uh, our Rotary um, International. Um, so the Create for Med project uh, uh, came in, in, in uh, at the time that we were looking to expand our product lines, uh, expand the market. So the outcomes of the project was designing new product lines. So we designed 20 new product, uh, product items uh, to launch a new collection. Uh, this created uh, over 100 jobs in production for women. We also worked on launching a new digital feature, uh, which I'll show you later, uh, super uh, interesting. And we also exhibited in uh, an international fair in the UK. Uh, it's a B2B fair uh, that targets Europe and the UK. Uh, and this was very successful for us to open new markets uh, for Domatoids. Uh, I'll, I'll just uh, show you the, 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 the uh, 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 how this feature, the digital, the digital feature works. So you, the, the idea is you can create your dream toy just by five clicks. And the, the, the thing is you go into the website, you have this feature where you can choose the doll that you want, change their skin tone, hair color, hairstyle, and then you can go into the outfit where you find a variety of over 100 item feeded, 100 items and you can create your uh, dream tool. We also, we're also planning on adding accessories uh, uh, so you can sh add more accessories to the toy, bags, and other uh, accessories. So you can uh, have this uh, 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 to your, um, not create the toy to your liking. In the production process, uh, uh, the toy is, uh, 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 the doll uh, is, is created through product pieces, items, uh, parts, and then assembled and then shipped in, in the same day. So the idea is all the items that you, you, you choose are created, are produced and stocked, and then assembled once you order, are assembled in the same day and shipped out. Uh, so the future prospect is adding new, adding uh, uh, um, uh, like accessories, uh, like bags and other stuff to the uh, um, uh, to the collection. Uh, I will share another um, document uh, because I had the uh, the exhibition that we did uh, was a report that we we did a report for the exhibition uh, in the UK. So I'll share that as well. Just a second. Sorry. Very quick, Abu, because we need to. Move on as we're short on time. So I'll just go quickly through the exhibition uh, report that we have. So the exhibition, we were planning to join the exhibition uh, under the Create format. And when we, when we announced this in Egypt, we, we, we had other uh, companies that were interested. So we gathered more than seven companies. Uh, and we prepared, uh, you, uh, I can share this report later on. Uh, so we started uh, uh, doing the floor plan for the exhibition. We also branded the exhibition as the Egyptian pavilion. So we had this branding of banners printed on all over the exhibition. So we were Duma and then six other companies. Uh, we offered uh, 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 gift bags branded by Egypt, like Egyptian culture. Uh, this is photos of us preparing for the, the 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 display in the exhibition. On the bottom side, you'll find the Duma partition in the exhibition. Uh, so this is the overall uh, look of the exhibition in the UK. Um, these are more photos. So the outcome um, were like uh, 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 we had over twelve uh, orders in progress for the whole uh, companies. Doma, we had tw three orders that are, one of them is confirmed and we're, we're delivering on and two other in progress with, all, with a value of over 20,000 uh, US dollars. Uh, so uh, I'll, uh, I'll just go through the, um, so the, the plan for us going forward is uh, we're uh, 
uh, uh, we're we're uh, we're expanding on the idea of exhibiting internationally because we saw the, a great opportunity in this, uh, and this is why uh, uh, the, this year um, in February we're joining the the UK fair again for the spring edition, uh, covered fully by our like expenses were fully covered by by Duma because we saw a great potential, great opportunity in in this. Uh, and also, so this is to expand the the market to enter to, to the UK and to, 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 to Europe. And we're also working on developing new product lines as well to, 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 to meet the demand that we saw uh, in, in the UK and in Europe, the feedback that we got from um, other uh, like businesses. Great, thank you. Thank you very much for this uh, very explicit explanation and demonstration of your progress. Very uh, truly congratulations on this. So now, uh, without further delay, I will give the floor to Sherazad Amus. Sherazad, if you want to turn on your camera and yes, if you have a presentation, feel free to share it. So we really need to try to stick to the time. As I told you earlier, let's try to have seven minutes per, per presentation, okay? I will text in the chat when you get to the end. Thank you. Do you see my screen? Yes, you see it. Okay. So, hi, thank you for this opportunity. Full screen, yes. So, my name is Shahra Zedamus. I'm a musician and singer, graduated from the High School Institute of Music in Tunisia. I have worked in the events industry for over 10 years. Observing the needs of event organizers searching for talents and original entertainment, as well as artists seeking visibility, I identify a challenge to be addressed in bridging the gap between these two worlds. This is how Clink is born, the first booking platform in Africa created to connect artists and event organizers. So Clink provides musicians with a powerful tool to showcase their talents, featuring an online calendar and global visibility, and gives event organizers access to a diverse calendar of international artists with a secure and certified booking system. Our mission is to structure and promote the performing arts sector in Africa by providing job opportunities for artists with the vision of improving their lives. Thanks to Create for Med, we have expanded our platform to include not only artists with cover projects, but also uh, those with original composition projects, targeting festivals and performance venues. For bookers, our platform offers user-friendly search options right from the homepage. They can specify the type of events, discipline, date, lineup, project type, music genre, as well as country, region, and budget. And the algorithm then suggests artists that match the criteria. After reviewing the artist's profile and uh, availability, the booker can fill out a form to request a quote. For artists, the registration process begins on the dedicated page. Once the form is completed and the request is launched, the artist can log in with their username and password access their profile, then update uh, their calendar, create up to five projects, add information and upload necessarily files before saving. Thanks to Create for Med, we have achieved several significant advancements. 
like integration of a module, module uh, on the platform to offer new services and expand our clientele to other markets. Um, allocation of a marketing budget for promotion on social media. Acquisition of equipment for efficient management of clients and artists, as well as the promotion of our catalog on social media. Networking and continuous enrichment of our catalog with international prospecting efforts. And hiring a dedicated professional for and the international expansion of this extension. Thanks to Create for Med, we, sat, we seized the opportunity to travel with Minasa. We participated in significant events such uh, as Impact au Carré in Paris, the Delta Festival in Marseille, and the Summer School in Barcelona, where I had the opportunity to meet the project leader selected for the program. We have successfully secured 13 contracts with inter international artists involved in composition projects, including four women. A partnership with a production label in France has been established. Additionally, we have compiled a database of over 1,000 festivals and engaged with more than 20 of them. Following the Create Format program, our next step is to raise funds to expand our, our international presence. Uh, we are considering establishing link in Europe to enhance networking, uh, festival research, and establish more partnership with production labels. A heartfelt thank you to the Quack for my team, Red Star Tunisia, and Minasa for their trust in invaluable support in this entrepreneurial journey. Thank you for your attention and feel free to reach me to reach out to me with any questions or messages or emails. Voila. Thank you. Thank you very much, Elazad, for this uh, very nice presentation. It is very great to see the progress you've made uh, from the beginning of the subgrant. So, very congratulations. I now give the floor to Ala, Ala Shashkir. She joins us from Palestine. Um, Ala, if you want to share your screen and start presenting. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, let me just uh, share. Now we can see your screen. Okay, great. Uh, you can see it, right? Yes, we see the backstage though. If you want to click on full screen, I think it's coming. There we go. Okay, my name is Hala Shakhshir, and I am the general manager and co founder of Askadar for Culture and Art since uh, 2017. So Askadar is, uh, we are uh, dedicated in enriching the lives of urban uh, youth in Nablus and its neighbor, uh, neighboring village and refugee camps. Uh, we are based uh, in Nablus. Uh, our mission is basically uh, based on empowering youth. So we focus on kids and teenagers, offering them a safe haven to explore their potential through creative arts like music, dance, and visual arts. Um, we nurture their talent and provide job opportunities um, to aspiring artists. Um, so what we um, basically focus on is supporting local artists by uh, welcoming young, young males and female artists, offering them a platform to showcase their talent and earn a livelihood. Uh, we believe in the, in the transformation um, and in the power of art um, to, to bring uh, hope and uh, peace. Uh, for these uh, local artists. Uh, so we are also family oriented um, for parents who are seeking a secure and enrich enriching environment for their children and after school programs. Um, we provide an, ask an after school Askadar program uh, as an answer. Uh, we provide a place for their kids uh, that they can learn new skills and grow in a nurturing community. Uh, so by um, by Create Format, uh, we managed to do a uh, summer school program uh, 
uh, for last summer and uh, we uh, managed to host uh, around 120 students uh, for the month of June, July and August. Um, so in the um, in, in our summer school program, uh, our approach was to uh, addressing the initial issues to limit access to the arts in Nablus and creating su successful outcome that has established Askadar as a best uh, practice. Uh, involved in um, multi strategies, um, most of them were based on a scholarship program uh, and a diverse arts offering through um, a diversity of a program that we offered uh, through our summer school. Uh, so we had um, ballet, dabke, music, and drawings. Uh, and this approach allowed us to engage a border cross section of the community uh, and uh, offer varied uh, artistic aspirations to our beneficiaries. Uh, we had a community engagement workshops uh, beyond our former classes. Uh, and we organized workshops in dance, yoga, and music, cinema, and drama. Uh, for both the participants and for their parents. Um, so, like uh, the things that uh, proved our, uh, let's say, growth and sustainability uh, is the enrollment growth uh, in our summer school. Uh, so it was um, one of the primary keys, let's say, uh, is the students' enrollment. In the past uh, three years, we witnessed 40% increase in the number of the students participating in Askadar programs. But when we added the summer school program, we had double the enrollment that we witnessed for previous uh, years in the summers that didn't have a summer school. So it was amazing for Askadar team to see uh, this much um, a number of enrollment uh, from the kids and the interest from the parents. Um, so uh, now uh, for the upcoming, uh, let's say, month, we're trying to be more financially stable uh, through uh, our fee-based art education, through our scholarship programs, uh, to repeat our, so we will make it an annual summer school um, program that has, has proven to generate uh, sustainable income. Uh, and we will provide a wide range of art activities for the upcoming uh, year, for 2024, uh, where we can do uh, more field trips um, and, uh, and join more artistic uh, subjects, let's say. We had also uh, community engagement workshops and events. Um, we managed to do grants and donations. Now we're managing to open a new uh, playground uh, for Askadar space where uh, people and families can enjoy playing outside in the fresh air. And of course, we will have our sponsorship and partnership um, a program where collaborations with local business and cultural institutions, as well as sponsorship from uh, corporate entities, because the summer school gave us the opportunity to be more, um, let's say, obvious uh, for the community. And uh, now uh, more local Palestinian um, companies and industries um, are uh, interested in joining us um, in the summer school. So we are building more cooperations. Um, so this is, uh, this is uh, some of the photos that we uh, managed to collect um, during our past summer school and, um, and the experiences that us and uh, the parents and the artists um, was able to uh, experience thanks to Create for Med. Thank you very much, Alain. So nice Thank to you. see so many, so many pictures. Congratulations on your summer school and uh, good luck for the future progress and to be sustainable. I'm sure uh, it, it will be possible very soon. You, I, I mean, we've heard really good feedbacks from the evaluators and, and yeah, uh, good luck with the rest of the project. So now I would like I would like to invite Bilal from Lebanon. Bilal is the CEO and product owner of Terrific. Hi Bilal, do you want to share your screen? I cannot hear you, Bilal. Maybe without the headphones. No. Yes, I okay. Um, I'll share my screen. Let me know if you can see it. 
Yeah, we see your screen. Thank you. Perfect. So, hello everyone. My name is Jalal, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Terrific. Um, a little bit about my background. So, I've been an entrepreneur since the age of 16. Um, as uh, an entrepreneur, I failed three times in my previous startups until finally I was able to found, found an e-commerce brand and exit. Uh, I'm currently the co-founder and CEO of uh, an agency and uh, the CEO of Terrific. And I also believe that tech and continuous innovation is what drive us as a humans forward. Um, enough about me. So uh, we all know that the tourism industry uh, post COVID-19 is not the same. People want to travel and the way they want to experience travel has changed. So this, uh, so traditional guided tours are often uncrowded, overcrowded and unpersonalized. So, uh, basically, today's travel is personalization, which is a major concern for 72% of them. And traditional guided tours are often unaffordable for 40% of tourists. Also, there is no straightforward way for tour guides and travel content creators to monetize their stories. So after seeing all those problems, we came up with Terrific. So Terrific uh, reshapes the travel industry with immersive audio guided tours created by local experts, accessible right from your smartphone, um, so travelers can now enjoy authentic local experiences at their own pace, ensuring a personalized touch. So uh, with terrific tour guides and content creators can end by creating content and uh, travelers will allow travelers to save money when traveling and deeply connect with local culture. Um, our process is really simple. So tour guides uh, will create a tour and itinerary and they will submit it for quality check. Our team will then review the content and make sure that everything is uh, Perfect. Uh, and after approval, uh, it is listed on our platform for tourists to purchase, go to the cultural site, and enjoy a self guided tour experience. Um, so far, thanks to Creator Mad, we were able to successfully build and launch our technology. Um, we were able to penetrate two markets, which is Lebanon and Egypt. Um, uh, we have also, thanks to the summer school that we attended, uh, with Crack for Mad, we were able to identify uh, gaps in our business model. And we were also able to like fix these gaps and uh, find other ways to go to market. Um, we managed to partner with the Lebanese Tour Guide Syndicate and uh, get access to their expert community of tour guides. Uh, we have also created the content to cover all uh, the Lebanese cultural areas. Um, moving forward, we will be um, working on adding more features to the product because um, after going to market we were able to collect some feedback with uh, more than 200 users and uh, based on that feedback we noticed that there there is some room of, uh, to improve the product and we will be working on that um, after that it will be our penetration uh, to the uh, saudi market and creating content there and do the marketing acquisition and social media part as well so let's connect. Please scan the QR code to learn more about Terrific. You can find also my contact information. And uh, thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Bilal. Thank you and congratulations on this progress. It's Thank really you. impressive. Congratulations on the launch of the platform as well. And it's great to see that you already have plans for internationalization. So congratulations. Thank you. And um, now I want to give the floor to Ben Zainab. And are you with us from the... Yes, of course, I'm here. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, it's great to see you all here today. Uh, my name is Ban, a co-founder at Puppets World for Development of Children. Uh, I want to begin um, by expressing my gratitude for choosing Puppets World to represent the funded projects from Jordan. It's really an honor to be a part uh, of CREACT's Formid annual conference and to share our journey and impact uh, with such a distinguished audience from the cultural and creative industries. Um, so let me now please share my screen to walk you through the journey uh, and impact uh, of Puppets World. So welcome to Puppets World, uh, a leading social enterprise in Jordan uh, dedicated to raising children's awareness through interactive, inclusive puppet shows. Our engaging performances are tailored for children aged 4 to 12, um, uh, fostering, uh, uh, fostering 
um, uh, a positive and enriching learning experience. Uh, to maximize our reach and impact, our shows are presented in three languages, Arabic, English, and French, thereby catering to a diverse and expansive audience uh, of young learners. At Puppets World, we have four main programs. Uh, the social program focuses on fostering social skills. Uh, the cultural program under which CREACT for Mid project falls uh, aims to connect children with their cultural heritage, the environmental uh, program also through the Eco Puppet Theater uh, to promote uh, ecological awareness and the emotional program uh, nurtures emotional intelligence. So let's delve into some statistics. Over 700 shows uh, have been performed, benefiting 70,000 uh, plus children from 20 plus nationalities, with 20% being disabled and 19% ref 19 refugees. Uh, these numbers highlight our commitment to creating a diverse and inclusive impact uh, through our performances. Puppets World is proudly the first Jordanian company to receive the Intercultural Achievement Award 2022 from Austria, a recognition honoring our dedication to promoting intercultural understanding and harmony among children. Additionally, we were honored with the Best Script Award 2023 at the first Arab Puppet Theatre Festival, showcasing uh, our commitment to pushing uh, the boundaries of storytelling and achieving creative excellence uh, uh, in the industry. Introducing the CREACT for MIT project, our special project that brings stories of cultural heritage to life uh, using the puppet theater. We focus on different topics like traditional food and costumes, crafts uh, and music. It's not just about the story, it's, it's, it, it's like a fun journey into our culture through puppets. Uh, kids really love it, especially those in areas that don't often get these kinds of stories. Uh, we use puppets to make the stories fun and easy to understand, helping kids feel a strong connection to their culture. It's like bringing our traditions to life for the next generation. Uh, in numbers, the CREACT for MIT project ran 10 workshops reaching 482 children in eight schools. We had nearly, nearly equal numbers of boys and girls, uh, and our inclusive approach brought 135 deaf and 85 uh, uh, disabled children with all the shows offered in sign language. Additionally, the project successfully created 15 new jobs within the cultural and creative industry. A remarkable moment in the CREACT for MIT project was a workshop attended by deaf children and their families. The entire show, interactive sessions and songs uh, were translated into sign language, ensuring an inclusive and accessible experience uh, for all the children and their families. Looking ahead, Puppets World has an exciting roadmap central to our future endeavors in the Eco Puppet Theater, our recently established platform designed to educate children about sustainability and environmental stewardship. Uh, furthermore, we are enthusiastic about conducting specialized, specialized puppeteering and puppet making workshops. These sessions are not only aimed at fostering creative skills, but also at deepening the understand and appreciation uh, uh, and appreciation of this art form. Our ambition extends to global expansion with performances planned in Arabic, English and French. This multilingual uh, approach is a key to our mission of reaching a, a broader audience. Uh, our successful experience last year uh, in Saudi Arabia, where we presented 24 shows during past Ramadan, uh, motivates us for future global endeavors. And as we move, move forward, uh, we remain dedicated to using the art of puppetry as a tool for education, cultural exchange, and environmental awareness, uh, continuing to touch the hearts and minds of audiences, both locally and globally. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ben, for this uh, very nice presentation and congratulations on your progress. Thank uh, you. It's it's so nice to see to see people active in in the puppet world and to have this impact on children. So thank you very much. Now we'll give the floor to Wafai from Creatizana from Morocco. Uh, can you stop sharing your screen, Ben, so you get the floor? Yeah, thank you. Wafai, you with us? Hi. Yes. Hi. Sad. I just share. 
Sorry, just trying to. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, perfect. Now, do you see my screen? Is that fine? Yes. You want to okay. put full screen? Uh, Sorry. Perfect. Is that fine? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So, hello everyone. I'm Wafa Azawi, CEO of Cri Artisana and the founder of Biliati Brand and Concept. Uh, based in Rabat, Morocco, I'm an artisan designer specializing in leather craft and uh, painting calligraphy. And uh, today I'm thrilled to introduce you to Cri Artisana project putting some light on our team, our work ethos, our journey, and the achievements we've made so far with the Correct Format the program, as well as our future moves. So our story begins with a fervent desire to transform a passion, personal passion, <laughs> into a profession. So despite my engineering background, my heart has always been drawn to creativity, material, learning about cultural heritage in the world of uh, handcrafts. And so in 2018, I transitioned uh, from an employee in a tourism company to becoming a freelance uh, artisan, launching back then, back then my brand, Biliadi. And uh, after a few years of uh, immersion in the artisanal landscape, both as a market and also a reservoir of uh, creative talent, I founded Cri Artisana in 2022 so that I can collaborate with other uh, professionals or, and also skilled persons and try to elevate uh, the value of uh, artisanal work. So now at um, Cri Artisana, uh, our team includes uh, myself, my sister Kauta, who contributes to uh, product development and collections, uh, Yusra, our budding uh, artisan in leather craft, and uh, Leila, our digital uh, designer who leads our communication and uh, branding strategy. And uh, of course, uh, there is Shmisha, the resident workshop cat, who uh, oversees operations with her uh, feline grace. Um, our uh, core focus lies in designing, producing, and uh, retailing handmade leather and uh, handmade and customized leather bags and accessories under the brand name of uh, Biliadi. Uh, we have both individual and uh, corporate clients, and here these are uh, pictures of some examples of our products. And uh, besides, we do offer also uh, workshops on leather craft and calligraphy. These sessions are open for anyone, uh, and uh, as well as creative team buildings exercises. And we also organize gathering events for artisans and uh, creators. And we're really glad to see our community growing with every encounter we make through these uh, sessions. Um, as a small creative enterprise, our aspirations expand actually beyond growth and expansions. We are committed to raising awareness about the situation and the rights of Moroccan artisans, the situation either financial or legal. And uh, we are committed also to uh, preserving and transmitting this cultural heritage and uh, nurturing young talents by making our uh, work uh, workshop space as an open creative space for young designers and uh, artisans. In 2022, we were actually delighted to be selected in the Create Format program 
this helped us make uh, significant achievements during the first term uh, program in 2023, uh, recruiting Yusra, Yusra as our artisan assi assistant and Leila as our community manager. With uh, the program's uh, support, we also revamped the branding and the visual identity for Billy Eddy and launched our 23 fall um, collection. Uh, as you can see, these are the results of uh, the work on the collection and also the, the branding and the rebranding of the of Billy Eddy. And we finally uh, benefited from mentoring sessions and uh, through this program and the summer uh, school uh, in uh, Barcelona. In the current term of the uh, crowdfunding program, we're working on preparing and launching our new website boutique. So it's, yeah, it should be done by next month and ready. And uh, we are working also on expanding and promoting our brand uh, presence internationally. And uh, with the support of uh, the found, we are ensuring a stable production process. So now, despite the challenges of uh, scaling up as a small creative business, we remain committed in our belief that international expansion uh, is key to our growth. And uh, additionally, our commitment to uh, preserving artisanal resources drives us to establish uh, a national artisan uh, database, uh, positioning Cree Artisana as the in the future as the go-to platform for uh, professionals in the Moroccan artisanal sector. Um, I think uh, it's the, it's all of it. A big thank you. Um, to the Correct Format team for their support. And uh, thank you. Thanks for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Rafael. Thank you for this nice presentation. It's great to see your progress and, and the future steps as well and milestone of, of Crea Artisana. So I want to thank everyone uh, to participate in this session. I really, I want to remind, do you mind if you stop sharing your screen? Yeah. Thank you. I just want to remind all the participants here that you've seen a snapshot of six entrepreneurs, one per country. However, we have 17 other entrepreneurs with inspiring stories and a very good project. So you can meet them in their booths. They, create, they created their own booth. You can also meet them in the networking space, the fluid space. And you can also find them on our website, so correctformat.org. Thank you again, everyone, uh, for this presentation. We will go now to the next session uh, led by my colleague, Yegane. So as uh, for the last ones, this session will be closed, will close, and you can uh, go to the next one through the, the main page agenda and enter the other session. Thank you, everyone, again, for your participation and, uh, yeah, and for your comments. You, we will be in touch with the future activities of Greg for me. Thank you.